In this video we're going to create a, a sprite that always moves towards the mouse pointer and to do something that's always doing something we need to use a loop. So I've got myself a fish uh, from the sprite library and the first thing that I'm going to do is choose the event. This is going to start moving towards the mouse pointer when I click the green flag and if I click on the motion tab now what I need it to be doing is not in pointing direction but point towards. I'm going to continually make the fish point towards the mouse pointer. Now if I click the green flag it's pointing towards the mouse pointer but it only does it the once. I want it to do this over and over again. So I need to get myself to control and use a loop, a forever loop. And inside that forever loop will be all the instructions that I'd like Scratch to do forever which is to point towards the mouse pointer. If I click the green flag, wonderful, the fish is pointing in the, the right direction. We just need to put in a little bit of movement now. So I'm going to go to motion and make him point, move 10 steps, and again it's going to do that forever. So let's hit the green flag now, see what happens. Oh, rather rapidly, the fish moved towards the mouse pointer. If I change it from 10 steps to 2 steps and try the green flag now, you can see the fish moving that much more slowly. He turns upside down as he moves, ar moves around which isn't really what I want from a fish so I'm going to click on the eye and change the rotation style. Let's try the green flag now. There we go, there's my fish moving around. There's all sorts of things that you can get children to move on to do with this now. For instance you could use the pen so that the fish leaves a trail behind it or um, if we duplicate let's have some slightly different fish this one's slightly smaller. Let's shrink him down a little bit. And on this second fish, if I go back to my sprites, I'm on fish two. I'm going to actually make him move at a slightly different speed. Let's clone this one again. So I duplicate this one again. Let's make this one just a little bit smaller. And let's change the um, the speed on this one to a seven. And let's try the green now. So now I've almost got a shoulder fish that move around at a variety of different speeds. Um, you can really have some good fun with this in terms of um, the different things that you can do. For instance, you can have a whole host of sprites that are locked in, not necessarily moving forwards, but all pointing towards the, the mouse. It can create some quite amazing patterns.